Here's an example of how to use statistical process control with counted data, in this case from the Automotive Industry Action Group. So here we have the final test of an automobile. And so when it comes off, uh, does it under torque? Uh, does it not start? Is it a leaker? Is it a smoker? And here's a count. And the sample, they're looking at 500 cars uh, in lots. And so here's the actual count and total of all these things. Now we can take all of this, and what we want to do is find out what's the fraction defective. So in the QI macros, you can click on Control Charts and choose P Chart. This is the fraction defective chart. This means, uh, in this particular case, it's one car, one defect. Right? We're not counting all the defects that occur in a car. It's, you know, it's not that it's a leaker and a smoker. It's just whichever one it might be. So we're going to run the P Chart. And this is our final test discrepancies. It'll prompt us for titles, and we can put those in. You can see we have one out of control point up here. And if we figured out what that is in the QI macros, we could actually come in and say, well, I want to ghost that point or take it out of my calculations. And it'll take it out of there. And so consequently, then we can move on and say, all right, so we have a process that's in control. Now we could come back, and we could select the data of the types, choose, choose QI Macros Pareto chart, and this is total discrepancies, at final, and this is the type of error. So under torque is 40%, with leakers is 70%, and non-start is 98%. Now we could have improvement teams work on each one of these three bars. And so it's pretty simple. We're just going to add in a fishbone diagram. We can move or copy that to our AIAG chart here. And I'm going to put it right here by our total Pareto. So the first one would be uh, under torque, whatever time this was. Let's call it 2010, although it's probably not. Uh, under torque accounted for 40% of uh, final uh, discrepancies which was higher than desired and caused uh, lost profit, rework, whatever you want to say in here. So that's team number one. And we could duplicate the fishbone for each one of the other uh, two bars and that would give us something to start on for an improvement project. So that's how to use statistical process control with attribute data where we're counting uh, the actual widgets that are defective. And next we'll go on into some other types of charts.